What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to talk about security. Specifically, I wanted to talk about a few different security tools that I personally use on my Linux system. So I've just got a short list that I want to share with you because I think everybody should at least be aware of these packages and you can install them on your system as well just to kind of harden your system and to keep yourself a little bit more secure. Now I'm not going to go like super in depth or anything on any of these. It's kind of just going to be a high level view. Uh, if you do find any of them interesting though and you want a deeper explanation, then just let me know down in the comments and maybe we'll make a video of that. But of course, before we do that, if you do end up watching this video and liking the video, consider hitting that like button because it really does help out the channel way more than you know. And seriously, watch the whole video and then if you like it, then hit the like button. I don't want you to just hit the like button just because, you know, watch the whole thing and then if you actually like it, like it. If you dislike it, hit that dislike button. Oh shit, one more thing. Just a little disclaimer before we begin. I'm not like a fucking security expert, I'm not a Linux expert, I'm not even really all that good with computers. These are just things that I've learned throughout my time using Linux and messing around with computers. So if I'm wrong about anything that I say, please let me know down in the comments. I do try and fact check and research everything that I make a video about, well for the most part, right? Because I want to give true information and if I'm just talking out of my ass and talking about some shit that I don't really know about then I will let you know that I'm just talking out of my ass just wanted to put that out there you personally should always try and do your own research and you know not just follow blindly what some random person on the internet is saying but with all of that shit out of the way let's get down to this list of five super helpful at least uh, in my opinion i think they're pretty helpful helpful and handy security tools that you can start using today Linus is a security auditing tool for Linux, Mac OS, and other Unix-based operating systems. But what Linus does is it scans your entire system and actually gives you tips on how to secure and harden your system. Linus was created by Michael Bolin, the original author of RK Hunter, which is a rootkit hunter, it's another security tool. And it's honestly super beneficial. If you've never heard about it, I highly suggest doing some research on it. And actually, I have a video that I did a while ago that goes a lot deeper into what Linus is. So if you want to check that out after watching this video, I highly suggest it. Linus really gives you a lot of information such as kernel parameters, uh, installed packages and services, logging and monitoring, cryptography, and so much more. It even tells you if there's configuration errors or security issues on your system and it gives you tips, basically a list of tips on how to harden and correct those issues if you do have those on your system. It's mainly used by system administrators in like a business or enterprise environment, but you can, and in my opinion, I think you should use it even just on your desktop computer at home. It's super helpful and I think the information that it gives you is plentiful. It, it really gives you a lot of information about your system. If you search up guides online how to stay or become more secure on the internet, you will undoubtedly cross some kind of article or video telling you that you need to be creating super strong and unique passwords for any of your accounts online. And that is so true. It, it just shocks me how many people out there just don't really care at all and they use such weak passwords for all of their accounts, even their banking accounts and shit like that. Please just use strong passwords. And this next security tool will help you do that. PWGen, short for, I'm assuming you can guess, Password Generator. Password Generator is a tool that does exactly that. It generates strong and unique passwords right there in your terminal. Now if you run it right after you install it, it's going to spit out like 20 or 30 different passwords. But if you go into the man pages for PWGen, you'll see that there's a bunch of options that you can play around with. You can add capitalization, you can add numbers to your passwords, you can uh, change the amount of characters of the password and whatnot. I have an alias that's just in my fish config so that whenever I type into my terminal pwgen it just spits out like a 20 character password, super secure, 
I highly recommend that. I will put that, I'll put a little screenshot down below, uh, right here on the screen somewhere. And if you want to use that, absolutely feel free to go ahead and use that. Or of course, look through the man page and just see all the different options that you have and uh, come up with your own. Now this next package or this next tool that we're going to talk about, it's called Arch Audit. It's based on a free BSD package called Package Audit. And I was actually very shocked to find out that there's no package like on Fedora or Ubuntu or any distribution like that. I've only found it on Arch. And then of course, like I said, on FreeBSD, they also have this package. It kind of shocks me that there is no package for like Debian or Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE, whatever, any other distribution. At least I couldn't find anything from doing my research on it. All I found was Arch Audit, so at this time it seems like this is just a Arch specific tool, and then obviously FreeBSD as well. But if you know of anything or a package that's like this on other distributions, please let me know because I'd like to I'd like to know. So the fourth tool on this list is called Nmap, short for Network Mapper. Now, this isn't technically a tool that's going to make your system more secure. I would just say that it's a very helpful tool to have and understand. Now, you can do a lot with Nmap. I don't even know how to use Nmap to its full like capabilities. And it is a highly popular tool that is used to scan your network for IP addresses, uh, open and closed ports, connected devices, things of that nature. That's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with Nmap. If you take a look at the man pages for Nmap, they are, there, there is, there's a lot. And there are a lot of great tutorials out there. I'll actually link one down below from Learn Linux TV because he has a really good uh, tutorial on how to use Nmap and how to get started with it. I suggest at least knowing how to run Nmap. You don't have to be like a Nmap prodigy or anything like that. At least knowing like the gist of how Nmap works, I think that's highly beneficial. There's also a GUI version of Nmap called Zenmap, but I'm not gonna talk about that here. I just thought I would mention that for the people out there that do like GUI applications, there is that front end for Nmap. The next tool on the list, number five, is UFW, which stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a firewall that you can use and configure straight from your command line. And I also believe that it's a front end for IP tables, which is a, a much more complicated uh, application that you can use. I've never used IP tables, but I have heard that the learning curve for it is pretty steep. But don't get me wrong, there is still somewhat of a learning curve for UFW, especially if you've never used it. But again, out of the box, you can just install it and uh, enable it by running a couple of different commands. And once you enable and start the service, then it's right out of the box, it's good to go. The defaults are pretty sane. There is still a lot of stuff that you can do with UFW. And I actually have a really great tutorial for you by the YouTuber Hackersploit. And I will link that down below in the comments. And I highly suggest that you check that out, especially if you want to have a firewall on your system. I think it's like a multi-part series or something he has on his channel. I'm not sure it could be just one big video, but I know there's at least one that he goes in very detailed and very in depth with it. And so I highly suggest checking that out. That is what I, that's what I use to learn how to use UFW myself. All right, everybody, well, that's it. That's the video, a list of five, in my opinion, super helpful tools that you can use to harden your system or just use in your favor to keep your network a little bit more secure. I don't think you have to go crazy with security or anything like that because as you probably know, the more secure you are, the less convenient it is. You know, and there's, it's just finding that balance and that fine line between conveniency and security, at least in my opinion. But I think it's always good to kind of 
to kind of have it a little bit more secure and a little less convenient than the other way around. But that's just me personally. You could be different. But all of these tools are super helpful and uh, I highly suggest you using some of them. And especially if you're on Arch, then you can take advantage of all five of them. If you're not on an Arch-based system, then all, all of them except for the Arch Audit, of course, you will be able to find in your distro's repos. I'm, I'm highly sure of that. But if you only take one thing out of this video, let it be to please use strong passwords. I really mean that. Just make sure that your passwords are really no less than like 20, 21 characters or something like that. And just just use strong passwords, please. I, I, if you're not doing that, I think that you're just doing a disservice to yourself. Use strong passwords. Get a password manager so that they're in a secure vault. And yeah, I, I just highly, I highly suggest you doing that. Just don't fucking use LastPass as your uh, password manager. Don't do that. All right, everybody. So if you made it this far, I genuinely appreciate that. I really do. If you did like this video, consider hitting that like button because it really does help out the channel way more than you know. But again, don't like it unless you actually liked it. If you disliked the video, hey, fuck it. Hit that dislike button too, I don't care. But other than that, be smart and stay safe online and uh, consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way.